If in the past you have found teaching symmetry one of the most boring things ever, this is a video for you. This is going to bring it all to life. We're going to do a full bonanza of eight exciting symmetry activities. Very exciting stuff. Uh, I would say these activities are great for children between the ages of about two up to about seven. And we're going to start easy, but get harder. That's the plan. So let's dive in straight away. Eight exciting symmetry activities for kids. Number one is start with the mirror. Uh, any kind of mirror. And the idea is you're going to explore things on the mirror. So for example, let's do a slightly longer mirror. And I've got these uh, gorgeous white flowers, for example. And it's just a case, whatever mirror you got, putting some exciting things on the mirror and the children can just have a look at them. It's great for kind of their curiosity, firing up their interest, and they just start to see that things are reflected in the mirror. Uh, flowers are good, things like sliced fruit is a good one as well. Using mirrors in different parts of the room is a good way to start them off with symmetry. Putting mirrors in the role play area, for example, or in the home corner, or great for investigating just like big mirrors on the table that you can put things on, just gets them looking, gets them interested, and starts the process of what symmetry is, and gets kind of images in their mind that would, later they would make sense of. So there we go. Number two is building on mirrors. Same kind of idea, you get some kind of mirror, something along these lines. I've just got uh, some wooden blocks. It could be anything, it could be like Lego, Duplo, Mega Blocks, any of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to build a very simple tower, something like that. Hopefully you can see that this is getting reflected in the mirror. Uh, and it's you know very interesting. It gets them really looking, excited, curious, and all that kind of stuff. And also construction is one of those things. Lots of children love doing that. They love building towers, building houses. So it's just uh, an exciting one to have a go of. Okay, next is mirror books. This is a mirror book. It's basically just two mirrors, two safety mirrors, and I've taped them together at the back. And it makes this kind of flexible book-like mirror. These are super for using with things like loose parts. I've got a little uh, baking tray here, a little tinker tray of some different loose parts. Uh, I've got some pasta, matchsticks, pegs, and some sort of screws as well. But it could be any kind of random objects you would like to use. Uh, get the mirror book, a bit like this. And what you do, you put things into the mirror book. Like this kind of stuff. And whatever you put in, it makes it kind of like a mandala. Uh, it gets reflected inside the mirror book. All sorts of reflections are going on. If you put it really narrow, you get hundreds and hundreds of reflections. Put it wider and just a few reflections. But it's a great start for visual symmetry, just understanding what symmetry is, and just a very good way of getting them interested, a bit of awe and wonder, and it's just an exciting thing to have a go of. Okay, before I go any further, I should say, please do su consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Martin Williams. I've been a teacher for the last 10 years. I work with children ages uh, between the ages of three and five in particular. Uh, I do training courses around the UK these days. I do early maths, early phonics, early literacy, and lots of exciting practical training courses, uh, lots of videos like this on YouTube with uh, free content about literacy, maths, and all this kind of stuff. So please do subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, next is making models. Models are something that lots of children love to anyway. So if you get a bit of symmetry into model making, you're onto a winner. Uh, here we go. I've just got a bit of Play-Doh. And again, with the loose parts, I'm just gonna make some kind of simple model. Um, let's make a bit of an alien, for example. I'm gonna use some matchsticks. And the idea of this is just trying to make it symmetrical. Let's do some screws, for example. I'm gonna do some, whatever you do on one side, copy on the other side. So we've got three on one side, three on the other side. Let's do one eyeball there, one eyeball the other side. And just basically, whatever you do, you try and copy it on the other side. A lot of children, when they make models, they will make them symmetrical anyway. It's just kind of an instinct some of them have. They just make things like this, where it's kind of the same on both sides. So it's a great way just to experience symmetry in a practical way. And again, starting lots of pictures in the minds. P 
People and faces is a big one with symmetry as well. We start to understand from a young age that people's faces are roughly symmetrical and also our bodies are as well. We start to understand that whatever we've got on one side, we have on this, the other side as well. Things like making faces are great for symmetry and making people as well. Here's a, a simple loose parts activity to try making some symmetrical people. You get some kind of body, something like this. Is This stick is the, uh, the body. We're gonna make a stick man is the idea of this. Uh, and what you do, you kind of build on both sides of the stick with the same stuff. So for example, let's uh, make some arms. I'm gonna arms with two pieces of pasta and then some, let's have a blue and green finger on either, either side. Let's put some legs on as well. Uh, put some legs on down here, if you can see this. Legs made of pegs, put a head on, all that kind of stuff. Whatever you do on one side, do on the other side as well. Another one they really enjoy is butterflies. Butterflies are you know, one of the most exciting topics for many children. A simple butterfly uh, template, something like this. And again, some random loose parts is great for this as well. And you just, whatever you put on one side, you put on the other side and you make a kind of a gorgeous butterfly. Like this kind of thing with different, different patterns. This kind of stuff. And just another way, a good way of exploring and creating different effects and exploring what symmetry is. Books are good for symmetry, particularly this book. This is probably my number one symmetry book. It's called Seeing Symmetry by Loreen Leedy. Uh, some beautiful pictures in this book. For example, uh, this page has the owl and the title seeing symmetry and it's reflected exactly on the, on the other side in a sort of beautiful mirror-like way. This book is great for lots of visual pictures like that. It has lots of examples of things in that are symmetrical, like planes, uh, swans reflected in the water, bears, all that kind of stuff. And just a good way of talking through what symmetry looks like in reality. Okay, a little bit trickier now. Let's go on to uh, cut out symmetry. For this, all you need is just some kind of piece of card or something similar to this, it's folded over. Very simple again. All you do, get some scissors and cut out some kind of shape. It could be a real shape, like I'm doing roughly a semicircle or a triangle, or they can make some kind of crazy shape. You know, really go to town with some sort of really weird sort of uh, shape, cut it out and then open it up and a beautiful kind of symmetrical effect. All these things are just a play-based way of getting children started with symmetry and that is definitely the way to go. The more images you have in your mind, the more you will understand symmetry later on. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing and hit the bell.